Hi, Jake here from Harrison Audio, and today we're going to be exploring Mixbus 11, starting with the basics of how to begin recording. I'm sure some of you out there, myself included, have faced the disorientation of opening a new door, not reading the user manual, and immediately getting stuck. Sound familiar? Whether new to recording and production or inundated with experience, Mixbus gives a different but refreshing bedrock for musical flow, creativity, without being stalled by menu dropdowns and confusion. Primarily, Mixbus 11 offers Harrison's analog console-inspired workflow, along with their signature signal processing inspired by the 32 series console. Just like the 32 Classic sat just right behind me. Mixbus is a feature-packed production suite boasting an ultra-intuitive user interface that creates a sleek bridge between the modern production concepts and vintage warmth and fidelity of analog sound. Harrison Mixbus offers a free demo version allowing the user to shoot out its platform before purchasing. Next, an audio interface, also known as a sound card, acts as the bridge that converts your analog signals, such as guitar and vocals, into formatted digital data, rendering them as waveforms within your door. For the purpose of today's video and to get recording, we have an SSL 2 Plus Mark II connected via USB-C for simplicity, as this is likely the kind of interface you'll be using at home when you start recording. Once you have established your audio interfacing preferences, hit start, and this will enter the Mixbus session. Let's get started by adding a selection of tracks. To do this, we can look to Track from the Session Menu dropdown, Add Track, Bus or VCA. Alternatively, in the Track Listing column, we can either right-click or double-click to populate the track window. We can also import audio into Mixbus by tabbing the Session menu dropdown and clicking Import. Your system directory will appear and you can select the correct folder for any stored audio files to import within your door session. Let's take a quick tour of Mixbus and familiarize some of the key features. Firstly, a selection of rudimentary playback icons for play, stop, loop, and record. Next, a standard editable session clock providing five different modes for transport. There's also a secondary clock is adjacent to this, which can be useful for displaying different modes, i.e. bars and beats and time code. There's also a large metronome icon to use for accurately recording, tightening, and editing the music performance. Mixbus conveniently hosts an adapted locator bar. This is a great addition to easily map out the project's timeline slash song form with markers for instant playback transport. Beneath this, dedicated buttons for clearing peaks and solos and basic monitoring control are available. Finally, four large page view icons which tab seamlessly between edit and mix view, record for incoming signal monitoring, and cue for launching audio and MIDI clips and loops. Looking at the mix window, we can see our selected tracks from before, now displayed in a console-style format. A unique workflow feature here is the predefined mix bus channels and master fader located to the right with the view expansion slider. To start recording, we need to tell Mixbus where the sound is coming from. Like a microphone or instrument plugged into your audio interface, click the little box above the record button on a track to choose the input you'll see a list of available options from your connected gear. If you want to see how everything's connected, you can open the routing grid. This shows a visual layout of where your sounds are going. Well, there you have it. This video highlighted a basic introduction into getting connected and recording within a few simple steps. It goes to show that Mixbus harnesses Harrison's legendary analog console workflow all the while maintaining a modern production standard. If you like this video, be sure to keep an eye out for upcoming content where I will explore Mixbus further, including signal processing, creating a mix and exporting your song, editing and post-production, Dolby Atmos, and much more. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.